All right, what's up guys? So six years ago, I just had a tutorial video, the first one I actually spoke to the camera to, where I had a micro mini band around my ankles as I came out the sumo, because that enforces, teaches that external rotation of the hip, which I really need right now for rehab. So that external rotation pattern is how we get upright in sumo. If you find that you're pulling chest down, usually you struggle to get that external rotation in the hip in sumo position. So I have two sets of bands in here, but we're gonna do one thing at a time. But I'm gonna come up into this so I don't have the extra band tension. Set it up here. And we know I can put a lot of weight in my back, so I can actually do this without loading my hip too, too much for the rehab purposes. But coming through the secure grip, that external rotation puts me in that nice upright pattern, and I just push through. So that's teaching the hip external rotation to keep a nice upright pattern position. Now, I did say there's two sets of bands. I would never do this together. That's ridiculous. And also, sorry, Nick Irvine. I did try the microphone and muted the entire video, so this is also the first one I've ever had to do take two on. <laughs> so anyways, the front-facing bands are teaching something different. They're gonna force you to pull the bar back into you, locking your lats, locking your carries major down, which locks your torso into one unit for the hinge pattern, which keeps you stable in the deadlift. When we lose that, you get this position, and it's really hard to finish. Your hips are already in, but you don't have the strength to practically extend whatever you're deadlifting. So, I'm gonna pull this one back to me, which is gonna tighten it up. Same thing as far as stance and grip, but as I pull back, now the bar is gonna try and pull me forward, so it's really gonna teach me how to lever back. I shot this one five years ago. Time stamps are a wonderful thing. So, pulling it in, tightening the lats, same. I'm pulling back and opening those hips, pulling through. And I use this pause just to ingrain my pattern with this. For me, it's actually rehab at the moment, but just to teach and ingrain that pattern with this. These are great ways to warm up or drill. I don't recommend doing your main sets with them all the time because you start to rely on that tool, but they're great things to practice continually to build your patterns and positions, because right now I can't load, but I can train patterns and positions and perfect. 